Hey, hey, uh, good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is to y'all. Um, gonna be talking about ABML again, lithium recycling, battery, metals, technology company. Uh, in part one, we looked at the current price, history of stock, uh, price per share, where it's been, where we think it's going, uh, a little bit about the CEO, Ryan Malser, and his history and background. Um, Part two and whatever else needs to make will be coming shortly. Just wanted to jump in and make a video real quick today as they uh, saw some news in the past couple of days here. Um, we'll jump right to it. And on the screen, you can see their Twitter. Uh, we have to share the results of our lithium bearing and co flats exploration during phase one program. Um, summarize what happened there they got a bunch of results back from a drilling uh, they're like 10,000 plus acres right um, higher concentrated than expected and at a show, shallower depth than expected so it's going to be easier to get to more of it fantastic news next we have ABTC CEO Ryan Melzer to serve on expert panels at upcoming benchmarks, minerals, and lithium past markets industry conferences. That's today. So, just a reminder that's happening uh, 62422. Be covering, touching on that once I watch it. Cool thing that really wanted to talk about was they changed their logo and updated the website. Uh, we'll provide a link to a short YouTube video of their explanation to their logo and introducing it, breaking down what it all means. It's pretty cool. It's like an infinite battery. Take it from there. Um, they're closing the loop, making infinite batteries. Uh, it's pretty cool. But their web page. So much cleaner from what it was before. I feel like it's popping a bit more. Before I felt like uh, it, it was lacking a little bit of a sell here. They go more into really the value that they're bringing to the table here. So let's just cover the front page here and we'll save the rest for another day. So we'll go from uh, securing uh, security of supply, less than 1% global manufacturing capacity of each of the primary metals, lithium, nickel, cobalt, magnes, is currently within the U.S. The federal government considers all four minerals to be essential to the economic or national security of the U.S. The cost of supply, the cost of manufacturing and importing battery metals has grown rapidly over recent years as demand has grown at a far faster pace than new supply can enter the market. So that's where uh, mining is one factor, but recycling all the piles of old lithium batteries and in a faster, cleaner way that yields a better product uh, where they can demanufacture batteries, it's going to be huge. Uh, environmental impact of supply. The conventional methods of mining battery metals can result in emissions of large amounts of greenhouse gases, air pollution, and contaminated water and soil. Our solution, ABTC is advanced technology, first mover lithium ion battery recycling and primary battery metal extraction company that utilizes internally developed proprietary technologies to produce domestically sourced battery grade critical and strategic metals at sustainably lower cost and lower environmental impact than current conventional source battery metals. They've got it all. Recycling, novel extraction technologies, and primary resource development. No other battery technology company is solving the challenge of meeting the soaring demand of battery metals like ABTC. Our comprehensive integrated business model includes three diversified business units under one roof. We are uniquely positioned to increase the domestic US production of battery metals while ensuring that these metals materials are returned to the manufacturing supply chain in a closed loop fashion. to technicals. We'll get into that another day. We'll do a brief overview of the uh, brand new clean looking website redesign they have out. 
that went with the logo change. So we'll come back to that. Um, power in the future of sustainable energy. We are an American owned company based in Nevada that is meeting with soaring global demands for lithium ion battery resources with a complete life cycle approach, challenging convention. Not all battery metal recycling processes are inherently beneficial to the environment. Not all mining is detrimental. With our innovative technologies based on stewardship, the extraction of battery metals can be achieved with lower environmental and social impacts. Fact, in the United States, there are not enough chemical producers in operation to meet existing or future market needs. To meet demand, this segment must grow, quickly grow in the short term to at an estimated rate of 35 to 40 percent between now and 2025, reinforcing the circular new energy economy. The majority of the end of life batteries are currently treated as waste rather than as a valuable battery material resource. Battery material metals do not degrade when recycled, so they can be recycled indefinitely. The recovery and recycling of the battery metals conserves natural resources creates a renewable energy source, lessens the need to mine for virgin resources, and decreases single-use material ending up in landfills. Fact, demand for battery metals is set to grow almost 600% through 2030. Transitioning to electrification. As part of the global transition from carbon-based energy dependence to an emission-free energy economy, Insatiable demand for lithium ion batteries that power our vehicles, stationary grid storage systems, and consumer electronics is occurring. Domestic US manufacturing capabilities of end use products like electric vehicles, energy storage, and consumer devices, and end of lithium ion battery cells have grown rapidly in the US in recent years. Yet, domestic production capabilities of the battery metals that supply these operations have not kept pace. Fact, global electric vehicle sales projected to grow by over 3,500% by 2040. Creating a new domestic supply with domestic industry experts uh, uh, and assets across the battery metal supply chain, we are positioned to drive the U.S. domestic supply of strategic materials. Our in-house technology development and innovative recycling process directly support the nation's efforts to reduce dependency on foreign sources of critical battery materials that may adhere to ethical and environmental standards for metals sourcing and manufacturing. Fact, it is estimated that less than 1% of each of the critical and strategic battery metals, lithium, nickel, cobalt, and magnets produced globally in 2020 were produced in the US. Who we are. American battery technology companies are uniquely positioned to supply low cost, low environmental impact, domestically sourced battery metals through its three divisions lithium ion battery cycling, primary battery metal manufacturing technologies, and primary resources development. ABTC has built a clean technology platform that is used to provide a key source of domestically manufactured critical and strategic bat metal, uh, battery metals to help meet their near insatiable demand from the electrical vehicle, electrical grid storage, and consumer electronic industries. This ESG principle platform contributes to a closed loop circular economy for battery metals that champions ethical environmental sustainability sourcing of critical and strategic materials. And uh, just coming over some of their affiliations got Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, National Waste and Recycling Association, Net Battery International, the Economic Development Authority of Western Nevada, the Critical Minerals Institute, American Exploration and Mining Association, the University of Union Nevada, just to name a few. But there are so many more. They got Green Town Labs, Department of Energy Grants. In the news section now and a newsletter. Highly recommending subscribing and stay in the loop. Get it because because you're closing the loop. No? Oh, all right. All right. Anyways. Um, 
So that's just a quick overview of the changes in the website and the logo. So sick new logo, old logo looked just like this. Like what is, what is this even? But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. More to come. I just wanted to share. I saw that happen and was like, oh, snaps. Let's get it out. Um, so yeah, thank you. And until next time.